What's going on everyone? Wildcard here bringing you the next episode of the Pokemon Insurgents Randomizer Nuzlocke look and a uh, bit of bad news I recorded this episode, this is the second time recording it um, the, my laptop actually kind of froze up, had a little crashing issue and I um, lost the video file because um, well I saved in between the episodes so I already have the gym badge well let me explain what happened, I already have the gym badge um, then just died, almost end up getting slaughtered, slaughtered completely. Um, we have a puzzle here because one of the trainers that we visited apparently had a matchup that he was treating as a slave, and we kind of rescued him and it randomized into a puzzle. And um, some strange person ran into the gym, or ran into the gym, but that was afterwards. So just bought some pokeballs and healed and came back here so I do apologize for that but um, computer issues also this um, gym leader is a, is a kid and his, his best friend is a rock a white rock so that looks suspiciously like Roshiram um, oh and yeah this person um, uh, came here to warn him that cultists are coming probably they wanted um, to, to steal his Roshiram Usually that's what they're, they're doing. Oh, and they have a QRM. Oh, incredibly interesting. Um, is the electricity solid that? Hmm. Okay, so I guess, okay, this guy's name is Tien. Um, okay, they're, not ag they're not quite aggressive, but they'll, okay. Okay, they make fun of him for being friends with the rock, but they want it. And child abuse, yay. Um, to slap a child. And here comes Rashiram, I wonder if they're going to have a battle. Is Rusher I'm going to be fighting Turim? Uh, no, he just flies away. Okay, cool. So they want to chase after Rusher I'm okay, cool. Okay, specialize in normal and fairy types. Yeah, we'll see about that once a randomizer hits. Um, yeah, so the battle that I had was was it was oh, Rishiram's back. Um, it was really hard. Um, then just died. You see how the a Torterra that was using curse and bite almost. He was using Curse and Bite, which almost wrecked my arm. Um, Viewing a close and almost wrecked, well, it, it, it wrecked my arm and just completely. Um, also, yeah, I did change the name on my Delta Unicus to Danny after Danny Phantom because it was a more gender neutral name. I because I realized my Dan my Delta Unicus was a female. I usually use the name Casper for my Gengars, anyways. So, there's that. And we get the instant laughter so we can do a farang now. So what I'm going to do is get whatever little encounters I can and then I'll end up the episode there yeah, unfortunately it will be a short episode due to the crash again apologize about that there's nothing I could have done about that um, so we have to come here and talk to the boss of the broadcast tower and he'll call us from time to time and we get to catch different Pokemon, sometimes Delta, sometimes regular Pokemon. So yeah. So I believe if Yeah. So uh okay, so there's an axio in this area. So have to pay attention to this. Don't move around too much, look for rustling. Okay, so we're looking for rustling in the grass. 
which is like over here. Okay, I found this one time I randomizes into a Gabai. That is interesting. Um and paralyze it. Let's see how much Amara Shot does. Don't, um, I don't like that, but I want to catch this because having a Garbite on the team after losing a team member would be pretty good. Okay. Yeah, and I get trapped by sand. I didn't think I could switch. Yeah, I can't switch. I was almost trapped in this, so still by twenty points. Okay, I have some super potion. Alright, so I'll go back and try to catch it. If we could continue using um take down for now, I guess. Oh yeah, so I just glimpsed it. I got the, the TM for Sandstorm as well, which is, um, as I mentioned, that uses Sandstorm. Yeah, I got the TM for Sandstorm, um, which was supposed to actually be um, Flame Charge. Oh, I thought I caught it there. Hopefully I get released. As soon as I get released from that sand tomb, um, I don't know if I sh I probably should. Okay, there we go. Got carpets. Okay, so we have this land shark over here. So what do I call you? I want to call you Megalo. Alright, so that's it, and I think that's all we'll find over here. Um, is he on my team? Yeah, he is. Let's see what he has. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I'm big. Let's see, Sassy Nature. Oh, he had Dragon Rage. Well, thank god he didn't use that. Okay, so cool, we got a reward from the boss, and we have a Garbite, so great. Um, that works out, so let's go on, go on to the other encounter that we could get. Um, okay. Okay, so the um, director called back so we could actually get another static encounter from that. So since the majority of the episode did um, sort of get a little deleted because of um, crashing issues, let's just see to get some encounters. So I can surf in this town and get another encounter. Okay, and this is the encounter for a Tyranitar. That is interesting. Okay, that it, it, this is good. But, uh, but I can't attack this without killing it. I have to use Sonic Boom. Because it, it's low level. And if I could catch this. And I miss. Did he just use Leanna? Um, okay, I keep missing. Yeah, even with that low defense, um, it's not doing anything. Why do I keep... If he's holding bright powder, that would explain it, but I know Sonic Boom isn't 100% accurate um, to begin with. Right, so I don't think I could do that again without killing it. Um, I thought that would have been easy. Um, if I catch this Tyranitar, this is going on the team. He would kind of 
and we got some nice well she sorry um because she would provide uh, well neurex yeah she would provide um the sandstorm for my delta re necklace if needed and i'm pretty sure they like a night okay it's nice in case if i ever get a fly gone um okay so we can get the encounter at the broadcast station and there's also one um yeah there's also one right down here we could either in the cape to go across to the next route we can either get oh wait i can't move this. Oh, I could move a bull as using headbutt. Uh, iron tail. Iron tail. Um, I could probably teach that to um, my Gabite. Megalo. But I could get an encounter here. I don't know if I want to get the encounter on the water. Okay, I guess it's in the cave. Lickatong. Um, not bad, but I could paralyze it. Okay, so this should be simple enough to catch. So I shouldn't spend too much time on this. I'll use the Pokeballs instead because um, it should be easier. Could be the operative um, phrase here. Okay, that took up maybe a little bit longer than I thought it would have, but Lickitung is caught. Oh, and I'm getting normal experience points. Again, I forgot. What to call you? Um. Um. Blob. Because Licky Licky. Oh, this would have been cool to find. Delta God of War, everybody. So, wait, is this. This is another route, right? Just check the map. Door. Route 3. Untouched exit. I was in front of the city. Yeah, so I would have started off there, enter route, and come through here. So yeah, I'm on route 3 right now, so I'm heading to Metrotown. Yeah, so this is a new area. So I don't want to fight any trainers as yet, let's just get pick up the encounter here. Acnea, interesting. Oh, so let's go ahead and give Megalo a try. Oh, didn't didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Um. Right. So I guess we could use Dragon Rage here, and that looks pretty good. Okay, so again, like with the Lickitung, we'll go ahead and use the Pokeball. Oh, I thought we got through one time with that. I thought we were one and done with that, but uh, close enough. Nice, got through with Cacnea. So. We are building a team here. Um, so we have Spearmon, so your Scarecrow. So let's head back and pick up our last encounter and end up end of the episode because um 
I'll go back and collect whatever TMs I have to in previous towns. I'll do that um, off camera because that would be uninteresting to watch, let's be honest. Um, but definitely I'll change up the team lineup. So um, I definitely want to put that tyrant on the team. So we'll just head back to the broadcast tower, get that encounter, and call it an episode. Again, I do apologize for the crash that um, took out the gym battle, but sometimes these, these things happen. Oh, can't talk them over the counter. Oh, Delta species in a desert. Okay, so... Talk to my associate if you need a tip. Okay, so I need to... Oh, they say I need to chase it, I didn't stop moving, but it um, came to me actually, but it's a Delta um, Ponyard. Um, which looks cool, to be honest. Um, so, I'm not sure what type this is. I know it's not a Steel Dark, but I could paralyze it, so... Oh, probably a fighting type, but that could be awful, be dangerous for me. Could potentially be a awful dangerous. Um, it's level twenty-five, which is nice. I'm going to switch into Gosh Trump and hit this thing with a Dragon Rage. If it, if it affects, okay, no. Um, you know what? have to go into my ghost type because he keeps using power punch yeah um go against him without killing him can't really do much let's try giga drain he's a detect okay so is he a fighting type Critical hit not very effective. Okay, so he should survive this provided that I don't hit a critical. But I'm not sure if I want to risk that. Let's throw one nozzle. Like, well, if he breaks out, I'll risk the crit to try and get this delta. And it's a good thing I didn't risk it, so I got a delta pony and this will go on the team as well. Um. Yeah, but oh, so he's a, this is a flying fighting. Okay. So I'm going to call you Air Blade. Yeah. Okay, so I have to talk back to the cameraman. Oh, it was supposed to be a Delta Grimer. Huh? So I don't know if the, the delta was actually randomized into a delta. Okay, so let's just take a look at what we have going on in our PC. And we'll end up the episode here because we managed to catch every single encounter that we came across. Which is good. And I could actually use Headbutt as strength. Um, which is interesting. Alright, so first of all, let's take a look at this. Okay, so Ninjas died next to Shedinja, and uh, I realized that there's only bug type Pokemon in, um, in my death box, which is strange. Um, so I have these two, and then, oh, he's, I mean, she's holding a nugget. I will take that. Um, let's see, my own nature, and uh, not the best. Um, not the best moves at either. Um, Dawn Stone, that's useful. I'll take that. Um, Energy Powder, okay, not bad. And uh, Ice Seal, it gets Defiant as um his ability. That's pretty good. So I'll be taking the um 
the turn at all. Oh, this is more of this new throw that. It's not really that good. Yeah, I'll be taking the Tyranata. Oh, Jolly Natron. Scarecrow is actually not bad. And that's Needle Lamb, so he's decent. If Shaman dies. Uh, mild Nature. Mm, I don't like that because of the defense reduction. Um, Killman on Power Point. So, yeah, I, I do like this. So, um, actually, I'll. Yeah, I'll update it now. So, I am going to take Granata and deposit Proton, and I'm going to take Air Blade and a flying thing so i'm going to give bowtie rs because to be honest bowtie bowtie isn't that strong right now with its bull nature so i'm going to grind up this team and up to wherever the gap is current i need plenty grinding um so yeah, I have a solid team right now, um, and I have some decent mods in the PC. So that's it for this episode, um, if you enjoyed this episode, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time for the next Pokemon Insurgents episode, um, we'll be in Metroton, which is the secret bases, um, so we'll definitely check that out, until next time, goodbye.